So when you're an adult and you're watching a children's movie, it's hard to watch it and not pick apart everything and overanalyze it. And that's what I did with Peter Rabbit. I definitely overanalyzed it. But you know what? I think we all do that. So anyway, I decided to put this movie on for Easter. And this is one of my comfort movies. You know, I don't know if you guys have any movies that you think of as like comfort movies. For me, it's like Paddington or Jurassic Park because I don't know why, but watching people get chased and eaten by dinosaurs is oddly relaxing for me. I don't know what that says about me as a person. But anyway, let me know down below if you have any comfort movies or movies like Peter Rabbit where you know they're bad movies, but you still really enjoy them. So... I've reviewed the second movie already, so if you want to check that out, feel free. So I know that this movie has a lot of really bad jokes, like a lot of the jokes are just really cringy. But the thing that makes it funny is definitely, hands down, Dom Hall Gleason. So you might know him as General Hux from Star Wars or Bill Weasley from the Harry Potter franchise. So he's a great actor. So basically he plays this guy who's an orphan and he doesn't know that he had this relative who died. So he was the only known relative of this man, Mr. McGregor. So he inherits his house, which is this beautiful, beautiful manor in the English countryside. It's like my dream house, seriously. Anyway, so he moves in there and he's the new Mr. McGregor. So basically the rabbits aren't happy because they think maybe the new Mr. McGregor will let them come in the garden and eat the fruit and vegetables. But just like the old Mr. McGregor, he wants to keep them out. So basically him and the rabbits go to war. Anyway, to make things more complicated, his new neighbour bee, played by Rose Byrne, loves the rabbits and thinks that they should be allowed in the garden, thinks that they have the right to go in his garden. So it makes things a bit awkward for him because he likes Bee and he wants to keep her happy. But the rabbits are destroying his garden. And I think it's a little hypocritical because the moment that the rabbits destroy something of Bee's, they destroy her painting. She just completely throws a tantrum and throws them out of the house in the rain and I'm like seriously you're saying that it's okay for them to destroy his garden which he put a lot of time and work into and he has every right to protect his garden yet they can't destroy your painting it's so hypocritical see this is what I mean I overanalyze kids movies so basically him and Peter go to war against each other and it escalates and builds up throughout the movie until Peter actually tries to kill him. And when he thinks that he's succeeded and that he's actually managed to kill Mr. McGregor, he has no guilty conscience at all. He's actually really happy about it. And you find out that he does this because he's jealous because of the amount of time that Mr. McGregor is spending with B, not because he is so desperate to get in his garden. So yeah, it just felt like it was a little mean spirited for a kid's movie. But then again, like I said, I'm probably looking too far into it and overanalyzing it. So anyway, the point is it does have a really good ending. It's quite heartwarming. It has a good message of forgiveness and things like that for the kids. Because eventually Peter and Mr. McGregor have to team up and work together and you know what's going to happen. It's a kid's movie. So anyway, apparently this was filmed partly near where I live here in Sydney. I live around an hour from Sydney and I read that it was filmed there partly. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, like I said, I know this isn't a good movie, but it's a movie that I enjoy so I would give it an 8 out of 10. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie if you've seen it. And please subscribe, like, all of that. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.